Hello, this is my video number seven, and in this video, I'll show you live free forms and live free integrations external systems. So, as you can see here, uh, this is um, the final result of building a uh, live free forms that you can actually send it to um, the user in their email so they can access that URL and uh, have access to this form that they can fill or you can actually just add it to one of the pages so people whenever they visit that page they can fill this form if requested so in this demo we're gonna see how we can build this form and uh, uh, how a business person or, a, or an admin person with no technical experience will be able to do this so building this form it's all drag and drop no code required and we'll see how we can do that so um, one of the requirements that Bruno got is that the download page they need to add a feedback form so people after they do the download they can go to the feedback and they can fill the feedback as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the admin console and I'm gonna start building this so I'll go as I'm, I'm now logged in as Bruno and if you didn't follow up with the previous video Bruno is my admin user and he has access to all the admin feature so I'm gonna go to the content tab and under the content tab I go to the forms and now I'm ready to add my new forms so I'm gonna click add and I'll name my forms to be feedback and here I'll make the first page of this is personal information and I'll add the first field and as you can see here let me just start this again so I'm gonna add a field and here are all the fields that I have available to choose from so I'm gonna choose the text field and I'm gonna add here name so people once they see this um, forms they need to add their names and I'm gonna make this as required click add so now I have the name fields got added I can actually move it a little bit and add next to it another field and here I'm gonna add a select form field so this is just a drop menu you can select from and in this one I'm gonna add country so the person who's gonna add his feedback he need to choose his country um, and I can fill this fields manually write the countries but of course I'm, I, don't, I can't write all the countries names so I can actually get this from a data provider so um, there is a public data provider that I found online uh, this data provider whenever um, I access uh, it just show me all the data so what I did is um, in LifeRay and let me show you this how I did um, I'm gonna go back on the other browser here to the form tab and inside my forms I'm gonna go to the data data provider and I create a data provider called countries uh, rest and inside this one I'm actually calling uh, this REST API and uh, whatever um, I get from I, I get I, I just call and get the name attribute which is have the country's name and I add it inside an attribute uh, in LifeRay I name it as name so um, I'll get the name of the countries and save it inside an attribute inside LifeRay it's, um, uh, and I call it name so I created this data provider and now while I'm creating the form I can instead of using manually I can use a data provider and here it shows me all the data provider that I have so I'm gonna choose the one that I just created and I click add so this is gonna get populated at runtime from this um, um, uh, JSON web service the next step here I'm gonna add another field and I'll name that field as address and in this field I'm gonna add the help text and say please enter your US address and since um, this is a US address I want to show this field only whenever someone choose from the countries um, the uh, countries to be United States of America so I'm gonna add the condition I actually just write it here to save time so I'm gonna add this condition here so I'm gonna open this and under visibility field I'll make sure this field will be visible only if the country is equal United States of America and I click add here so now I have that fields available and the next field uh, fields I want to add is a sele uh, single selection so I want to ask about his position so I can say what is your uh, 
position in the company and here I'm gonna give him choices technical business other okay so I give him the choices to choose from and I can make this field for example required so I can come here and say this field is required to be filled okay and next to this field I'm gonna add an email field so I'm gonna add also another text field name it email and this field I'm gonna add validation so I wanna make sure the user add a valid email so I'll make sure to come here and say um, validation is enabled and I can say if if that field has text this text contain certain things does not contain um, actually it can validate against an external JSON web service uh, so I can add a lot of complex validation here but just for now I'm going to add um, email and the error message will be please enter a valid email right and click add so now I finished the personal information I will add another um, uh, page and this page I'm gonna name it your feedback and here I'm gonna add just two fields the first one is a date field and I'm gonna name it um, uh, date of the feedback and just click add Oh, I'm sorry I choose the wrong the, the wrong field so I'm gonna go back here and just choose the date one here you go so in the date I'm gonna add this one so this is the date field and then the next one I will add your feedback so I'm gonna add um, last text field name it please enter your feedback okay and here what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it multiple lines so they can add more than one feedback. Also, I'm going to go here and make that field repeatable. So um, people at runtime, they can actually multiply that field and add more and more feedback. And I'm going to give them a help message here and say, uh, you can click on the plus sign. sign to add more feedback right so I'm just gonna click enter and now I'm ready to start uh, sending this to the user so I'll click save and the other thing I want to make sure uh, as a guest user who will be able to access this um, form so I can go to the permission tab and I can give uh, for the guest user permission to up, to uh, add records and the last thing to do I want to make sure it's published so I can go to the feedback tab and I go to the publish and I make this published and once I click confirm so now this is already got published so if I copy this URL and send it over email people they can actually fill this form whenever they receive this email so they can access this form and they can receive uh, they can fill this form but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one last step I'm going to my site and I'm gonna go to the download page and I'll, I'll change the layout first of this page so I'll make this page to look this way click save and now I'll drag and drop this to the bottom and on the top here I will add a form selector so I'm gonna go to the application tab click on form and drag and drop my form add it to the page close my left tab and now I'm ready to configure this to show the form that I just created so I'm gonna select the form and select the feedback form click the save so now anyone will see this uh, download page they're gonna see also this form that they can add uh, they can add their feedback so I'm going to the other browser and as an anonymous user I'll visit the download page and now I have the feedback so I can start adding the feedback so I'm gonna add my name and I'll choose the country to be United States
So as you can see here, once I choose United States of America, I can see the address tab. So if I choose any other country, it's going to um, uh, hide this tab. So I can now choose the United States and I can add my address, say uh, West Street. Okay, and uh, then the second thing I can do, I can add my position so I can make myself as technical and I can add my email. Let's say I'm going to add any email now. I'll leave the field to show me an error message. I need to add a valid email. So I will add fidi.com and now this is valid so it removes the validation and now I can click next. It takes me to my feedback so I can add the date for the feedback. So give me this pop-up window to add my date and now I can add my feedback here. The other good thing, I can click the add sign. It gives me this help message. So I can click on the add sign and I can add more feedback and more lines here. Anytime I can remove this one if I don't like it and it just show me one. So anytime I can add my feedback. When I click submit, so that got sent. So if I went back as an admin user and I went back to the um, form tab, and I said view entries now I can see this uh, feedback got added here I can export this feedback if I want as a, a XML or CSV and once I export it as CSV I can actually view it on Excel sheet if desired so I can open this and once I export it sorry here we go I can view the field now on the Excel sheets so this is how easy you can build a form, make it available, send it to the user, add your permission. Also, you can make a workflow so anyone uh, submit a new form, it goes through a workflow to be approved before it gets saved in live phrase. So you can configure that as well. The second part of this video, I will show, I will talk a little bit more about uh, integration. So live um, uh, has, let me actually go here in this browser. So I'm going to log in this one as Bruno. So LiveRay comes from the portal background. So um, we, as a portal platform, we still have the, all the capability to integrate external system in one platform and provide the single sign-on available. On the top of this with LiveRay DXP, we add that capability to do the personalization and provide a personalized experience for every user. So if you want to integrate with external system, all what you need to do is just you can develop your um, application uh, externally as WAR files. So you build your portlet, portlet externally and usually this is a developer tasks. And once they make this portlet available, they add it in live ray. And once they add it, it's available here on under the application tab. So they can start drag and drop and add it to the pages. So one of the application that I did here is I integrated with Amazon. So I have two, por uh, two portlet that I created, one to do the search and one to show the results. I can drag and drop and add them to any page uh, whenever I need to integrate Amazon to this page. Another one I did is I integrated um, um, Salesforce, uh, I guess is under Liferay Sales. So I have an application that connect to Salesforce and show the accounts that are coming from Salesforce. So I already created a page for this. So this page has the two applications, one integrated with Amazon search and one integrated with Salesforce. So let's see the first one, the Amazon search. So I'm going to search with anything here, right? For example, doll and click search. That search is actually coming from Amazon. If I click this tab for details and I open the details, as you can see, this is actually all coming from Amazon here. So anytime I do a search, this search uh, will go to Amazon, get me back the result and show it in this table. So if I write here something else, let's say car search. Now it show me the cars here. So anytime I can uh, write my um, search, it goes to Amazon and show me the results here. The other one I have it here is the Salesforce and I did very simple case. I connect to uh, Salesforce uh, using um, uh, 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 the web service and uh, SOAP web service and just 
calling the soap web service to get all the account in a certain um, uh, in my under my account so I ha I'm using a fake account here and I have accounts under it so what I'm gonna do here once I click this link it go calls Salesforce get me all the account and, and get it back here so as you can see here this is all the accounts in my account and this is all the accounts here so both of them are the same so uh, with Salesforce I'm using soap API so uh, soap web service in Amazon search I'm actually using rest web service so um, any web service you can integrate to uh, whatever it's soap JSON uh, and also even if Java API's you can integrate you can build your application and you can integrate this to Liferay and also you can make your backend system to have a single sign-on so the user doesn't really require to uh, log in a couple of times just one time to Liferay and he's gonna have access to all the system you integrated to Liferay this is the end of this video. Thank you for staying till the end and uh, p please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.